Hi, my name is John Lee and I represent the Oxfordshire Innovation and Growth Team. We help young businesses right throughout the county uh, and are currently involved with at least 300. I met uh, Dr. Allen some three years ago and was attracted to his therapeutic device and wanted to know more. As someone who has suffered from prostate enlargement, what are your views on this potentially serious disease and available treatment methods? It's well known that an enlarged prostate causes various unpleasant symptoms, which has to be treated carefully. Apart from the obvious bladder discomfort, any frequent hospital visits are also time-consuming and cause extra anxiety for patients and their families, and can also be highly costly. So it's very good news that a device developed by Dr. Allen for natural prostate care is available for easy personal use. So now, benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH in short, can be treated at home. It means that men can avoid or minimize the risk of a prostate surgery. How did you react when you were diagnosed with BPH? What were your doctor's recommendations for medications or surgical interventions? Were any other natural type treatments proposed? It's always stressful to discover that you have a health problem. I naturally consulted my GP and was prescribed various different drugs which did not prove too effective because my prostate continued to enlarge. Often, doctors do not discuss any kind of alternative treatment but tend to direct you to drugs or to surgery. Because my prostate was enlarged hugely with an estimated weight of 130 grams, I was placed in a queue for open prostate surgery. Have you been aware of the side effects of medication or surgery which were widely used for BPH? Maybe you knew someone who had suffered from a similar condition. No, I did not think about it as I thought I had to get rid of BPH. It's only now, after I have tried all sorts of treatment and read about prostate enlargement, do I understand clearly that medication or remedies that try to restore prostate cannot reach the gland easily, and thus their effectiveness is in doubt. Symptoms of bladder control are treated. Two of my friends had experienced all sorts of troubles after invasive prostate treatment. One, for instance, after radiation treatment, continued to have a severe problem passing urine. When the retention pain got too much, which was often enough, he had to go to A&E for urgent admission to relieve the pressure of his grossly distended bladder. The radiation scar tissue was blocking his flow, and only a catheter could help. Eventually, after many weeks, the hospital taught him how to insert a catheter himself at home, which procedure he has to do for the rest of his life. So when I heard about the natural non-invasive treatment from Dr. Allen, I took it seriously. What were your expectations when you started wearing Dr. Allen's device for the prostate care? Was it easy to use the device? I had been a regular user of Dr. Allen's device for more than two years, wearing the belt day and night. It was easy to use with the special natural thermo element incorporated. This belt is made of a soft neoprene material which is comfortable to wear and is easy to adjust to fit the contours of the body and does not impede movement. Of course, I hoped that the device would help, but never expected the last minute result shown whilst I was sedated in the hospital operating theatre that the prostate had not only stopped growing, but had shrunk from 130 grams to approximately 37 grams. I woke up to learn the wonderful news that I had not had to have an open prostatectomy and subsequently microscopic examination confirmed the absence of malignancy in the removed tissue. How did you feel during this natural therapy? Do you have any records of the progress of your prostate treatment? My prostate continued to provide discomfort and difficulties but these slowly reducing in effect. However, another problem 
a failed hernia operation from two years previously had been troubling me tremendously. Prior to repair this hernia, the consultant surgeon insisted the other problem with the enlarged prostate, which showed 130 grams on their records, had to be resolved first. As a result, the open prostatectomy was scheduled in Mayday Hospital. As I described above, and I can still hardly believe that I was sedated on the operating table when the operation plan was changed, this last examination showed that the prostate had shrunk and had made a transurethral resection of the prostate, TURP, a possibility. The weight of prostate extracted was 37 gram, absolutely amazing. Are you convinced that the natural treatment developed by Dr. Simon Allen is an important choice for patients with prostate enlargement? Absolutely, yes. My bladder control became easier and my PSA readings, although not definitive, held steady during the treatment. There is no need for men to suffer the effects from prostate enlargement as they are now able to use Dr. Allen's device as I did. I am 71 years old now and discovered for myself the effectiveness of this natural treatment and I am convinced that this treatment is important for every man who suffers from BPH. Thank you very much indeed for your time and patience. The, the answers were very interesting indeed.